<laughs> I'm just saying hello, 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 and my mic was muted. How is y'all doing tonight? This is Travis Michelle, host of Late Night with Travis Michelle. I'm just so happy to see you guys on here tonight. You know, hey, how is everybody's hump day? Have you made it through the week? I hope you have. Yeah, because you know what? I'm here. Because you know what our topic is tonight. How do you show up when you don't feel like it? So um, I, I thought we should talk about that. Just you and I. You know, this is private group. So come in. Hi, Dr. Miata. How are you? Thank you, Queen, for coming in. Please share this out. Uh, if you've allowed StreamYard to accept, you know, if you accept their terms or what have you, then you'll I'll know who you are when you come in. If not, please just say your name so that... Um, I can give you a shout out because that's what we do over here at Travis Michelle. Hey, so anywho, tonight, you know, it's just a free flow night. How do you show up when you don't feel like it? And I know you guys are wondering why I have on my hoodie. And the reason being, um, as you guys know, as a cervical cancer warrior, uh, you go through chemo radiation. Well, after chemo, I, I'm always cold and I'm in my own home. I have my air conditioning. I know I have it up on 70 something, but to me, I'm, I'm freezing and I have short sleeves on trying to look cute. And I was like, you know what? This ball head is not having it. So why don't we go ahead? Cause pretty soon my nose going to turn cold uh, and just put on, put on a jacket. Hi, Dr. Joanne White Hayes. How are you? Thank you so much for coming in. Please make sure everybody that you share this uh, out tonight. Also, I need to have an ask before I do my intro. I need you to go to my um, YouTube channel and subscribe. It's under Travis Michelle, go figure, right? And just subscribe for me. I really, uh, cause I'm gonna be doing more videos that are just for YouTube. And I'm gonna start doing some story time over there, y'all, like spilling tea and all kind of stuff, you know? Just having a good time laughing. In addition to having Late Night with Travis Michelle show on, I'm going to talk about my journey uh, going through uh, as a cervical cancer warrior, as a black woman. That's right, because it's a little bit different. I'm just saying our experiences. So hi, Lisa. Oh my goodness. How are you? Tampa is in the house. My coach is in the house. Angelique Monier. Yay. Uh, thank you so much for everybody popping in. And make sure you comment. And drop those comments below so that we can talk back to, and forth to each other. Like I said, share this out. So I am Travis Michelle. I'm the host of Late Night with Travis Michelle. This is where we talk about the ugly side of the backstory. And what is that? I'll tell you. I'm so glad you asked. It's where guests and myself included come on and share our experiences. Not just the shiny object. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yes, you've done so well. Oh, my goodness, this is what you have. Oh, you've, you've been so successful. Now, I want to know the ugly side. Like, did your husband support you, your boyfriend, your boo? Did them chilling get on your nerves? You know, what happened? What did you do when you didn't feel like doing anything? Or how did you silence those voices, those negative thoughts and that imposter syndrome? Tell us the real deal. Oh, you had to work two jobs and go to school? and start your business, you know, that's the ugly side of the backstory. So when you can share the challenges, it encourages someone else. It motivates and inspires other people. So that's what we're about over here at Late Night with Trevor's Michelle. So y'all need to go ahead and get your beverage. You know, you guys can have your bonnets on, your jammies, kick your feet up, relax, because this is your time. Every Wednesday, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard. So I have my cup. Mm -hmm. You see what it says? Beautiful resilient, focused, and unstoppable. She is. So I have it the color, of course, because it's the color of cervical cancer, and I am that warrior, yes, in the house. What? Because I'm beautiful. That's right, I can say it. <laughs> because I am resilient, mm -hmm. I'm focused, and I am unstoppable. But I have to give God credit, because I'm not unstoppable by myself. And then he's allowed people to be in my circle. Uh, those that are here, Dr. Jo, uh, Joanne White Hayes, uh, Lisa Sapp. We went to high school together, y'all, from Florida, Tampa. Y'all didn't know I had pull like that. Yeah. And Angelique, who's my coach, and Dr. Miata. You know, and, and there's so many others. My children, I kill Sasha Khalid. Just people that I don't even know that I've been there. So you are unstoppable. So, you know, as the expert confidence coach, what do we talk about? Like, how, how do you build that confidence? 
Well, if you want to know my walk method, y'all need to tune in tomorrow, okay? Because I'm having another masterclass. Guys, yeah, so we talking tonight. We just, we, I told you I was going to spill the tea. So, you know, I'm going to do that tonight. It's a little bit different. I want to, you know, I want to zhuzh it up a bit, a bit, you know? It doesn't have to go the same way all the time, every week. That's not how I am. It's not how my new brain works either. So why not just be who I am and be 100 all the time? So, um, yes, last Thursday, I did my master class. It's the first one I've ever done. I know people are, oh, don't tell people it's your first time. It was my first one. It went well because I know my content, but my tech was a little shysty. They, they tried to tried to show up on me a little bit, but I kept it rolling. Like, oh, you're going to throw that at me? Don't worry. You got some lemons over here? We moving and making lemonade. Anywho, in fact, we're going to throw some ice in there, okay? So you go ahead and keep playing with me, Canva and Zoom. But um, I did have my slides done. In fact, I was in here now redoing, not redoing, but just tightening up some slides because uh, it was the first time and it was a, oh, trying to get the landing pages. Let me tell y'all, entrepreneurship, being in a business, going to school and getting a dissertation, being a parent, all this stuff that they talk about, it ain't for the week. I'm just saying. But how do you show up during all of this when you do not feel like it. Yeah, right. Because I admit, when it got time to show up last Thursday, I was like, I was getting sleepy. I was getting nervous. <laughs> Everything came up. But I, I pushed through anyway. But I'm just being honest with you. Because you're successful doesn't mean that you don't go through these feelings. Doesn't mean that you don't want to, like, yeah, maybe I'll just do it later. But my coach said, I had to do it by June 30th. Last 30, Thursday was June 30th. And 7.02, I was finishing up my slides. <laughs> and people showed up. And I'm so thankful for those of you who showed up. And don't worry, because you know what? It was so good. We doing it again tomorrow. So I will be dropping the link in here uh, for you to go ahead and sign up again and share it out. Okay, uh, and we'll go into that a little bit more later. So, hi, I just want to throw, make sure I give everybody, if you like I said, if you pop in, share this out. Um, for those of you on the replay, please put replay in there and please make sure that you subscribe and tell everybody, I say everybody, to subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is called None Other Than Travis Michelle. Showing up, hmm, y'all. Sometimes you just don't feel like showing up. Am I the only one? Y'all got to talk to me in the comments. Am I the only one who sometimes just doesn't want to show up? Even when we know we should show up. We don't want to show up to work because we don't like the job. We just need an extra day because the weekend wasn't long enough. Well, then people get on your last good nerve. Maybe it's that you just don't feel well. Like myself, you know, like I was showing up for you guys straight through my chemo and radiation most day, most weeks. I only took like I had to at the end take some time because my brain was just firing off everywhere. But I kept showing up. I was showing up even though I was in you know pain 10 out of 10 and it hurt to even sit to do the show. But I showed up. So we need to ask other people who are going through stuff, how do you show up? Because I feel that we want to give up too easily and we don't have the opportunity. The way the world is, life is passing us by. Whether you get on the train or you leave, you're left at the station. You ain't leaving me at the station. I'm telling you right now, uh, you're not leaving me at the station, no matter what I'm going <laughs> to. You know why? Not because I'm so strong. And yes, God is my foundation, but it's not that I'm so strong. It's that my circle is tight. Okay, I'm going to repeat that because I think it went over somebody's head. It's not that I'm so strong, right? God is my foundation. So he makes sure my circle is tight. My light has dimmed on plenty of occasions in these last several months going through this cervical cancer journey. Let me tell you something. As Christian, who's three years old, he's coming here soon. He'll be here in like a couple of weeks. Y'all will see him. 
because you know he's been on my IG from way back during COVID. But anyhow, it was like somebody was on the right side, someone was on my left side, and they're like, "You gotta go, you gotta keep going." So it was Sasha Kia Khalid. It was Angelique calling me every Wednesday. I didn't even know what the conversation was, but she was like, "Okay, so what are you doing? Keeping me on track." Other folks calling, praying for me. I don't remember conversations between January and I think April. So whatever I said, don't hold it against me. I'm just saying, okay. But they made sure I stayed present. They didn't allow me to give up. I was saying, hi, Barbara. Thank you. Yeah, and look, this part of my team right here. You see my flyers that I have? That That's Barbara. What do you need? And I'm trying not to be last minute nilly, right? And she's like, that's okay, let's go. Because she understood the assignment. She understood that, okay, I'm not where I um, want to be, but I'm still showing up. And that's what I did. Having that tight circle is important. No matter who you are, you're not self-made. Oh, announcement, flash news, news flash, blast out. You're not self-made. We keep saying that. Someone had to make the, you know, the paper, the ink, to make the delivery on the truck to your door. Uh, you had to pay. They had to pay for it. We have this technology. We're not in a world by ourselves, even if we feel that we are isolating or, you know, um, you know you're an uh, introvert. We're not. But how fast you want to get to your success depends on you. I mean, if you want to do it by yourself, because that look, that was me. Like I want to, I want to be a burden when I was going through going through this process of my cervical cancer journey. I was crying to my kids, you know, I'm trying to get everything done. I don't want to be a burden. Can y'all believe? Yeah, that was me, right? Because in my humanness, it was like, I don't, I'm used to being independent. I don't want to be the weak link in the chain. And they were like, Ma, you're not. So just stop saying that. And let's go. When I was doing my, um, what is it? My journal, right? Which you guys, I will, I guess I need to put that link in here as well. I haven't done that yet. But anyhow, you can get it on Amazon. My boss up with confidence journal. I was talking to my daughter today. Here it is. That's a better view. There you go. Boss up with confidence, a 30 day journal to help you gain back your confidence one step at a time. This is the crux for my walk method that I teach because it was supposed to be an online course. Now I've turned it into a program and it's a journal and the online course is coming by the end of the year. That work of art is because my daughter and Tiffany Tichi, who is our hidden figure, who is my accountability partner, that's my girl, stayed on me and trust me, I didn't want to show up. I didn't feel like it. Who's going through chemo radiation? You walk, oh yeah, I'm ready to show up. Now granted, I did walk in there like that because I had to, to keep my head straight. That was just what I had to do. But once I had my treatment and I got back home, all that went to crap. I was like, Lord Jesus, let me just, I could make it to this couch. I don't want to do nothing. My daughter's here. Tiffany, they're on, Tiffany's on Zoom. Okay, ma. You got to get them cover. I don't feel like showing up. I, I Look, maybe we could, this can wait. They were like, no, you told us no matter what that you have to publish. I know what I said. Well, then let's go. And Tiffany sent me this long list of deliverables. I didn't feel like showing up. I really didn't. But she says, you said we were getting this done, so you're getting it done. We're here to help you. My daughter, Ma, let's go. You got to change the cover. And I'm like, that means I got to look for more choices? Yes. my You think I'm not tough. Trust me. I'm straight up. I'm not. My daughter's like times a thousand. She looked inside. She goes, it's too wordy. It's a journal. We're supposed to be doing the work. I'm your ideal uh, audience. Cut out some of these words. Chica, I can barely put a few sentences together. But okay. So I did it. I had to focus and muster everything in my body. Boom, I changed it around. Because see, I already had my outline because prior to this, my coach, Angelique, who it takes you from your nine to five to online course and make your own money, 
She says, okay, we're doing the outline. She stayed on me. And this was prior to that. I didn't even know I was going to be diagnosed with cancer. So when it happened, I already had it there. She says, you, you have the work done. Let's go. So she was also like, Let's, and I'm like, y'all, I'm, I'm telling you, punching the throat. I didn't want to show up. Why do I have to show up now? Give me a break. I got the big C. I'm tired. I'm scared. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know how I'm going to respond. What's going on? And you want me to think? I don't want to think. I want to lay here now that I've had my treatment and sleep. <laughs> That's what I want to do. But because my circle was so tight and when I told them what, I, what my plan was, they didn't let me veer off. And I'm so thankful that they didn't. And I talk about them like that all the time. They know it because I so appreciate them. Hi, Facebook user, just put your name in so that we can give you credit. I like to shout out people's names, um, but I showed up anyway. So you've heard that story and I tell it all the time. So, but um, there's some people who haven't heard it because there's 7 billion people in the world. Okay, I'm just saying. But still, how do you show up when you don't feel like it? I'm a Christian, I believe in the Lord. I, that's it, I have to give him, no, this is his business. I'm the CEO, but it's God, God owns my business. I'm just straight up with it. Y'all feel how you wanna feel, you believe in what you wanna believe. I'm just telling you about me, Travis Michelle. I was praying. And you hear people say prayer isn't enough. It's not. Okay, I know I'm gonna upset some folk, but you have to pray and have action. You have to pray and say, hey, have that mind open, not stuck here. I could have stayed stuck where I was. You can stay stuck where you are. That's on you. Stop blaming other folks for what you're not doing and projecting what you didn't do on them and that their stuff is messed up. No, that's you. You got to own that. When you don't feel like showing up, you got to own it. Stop trying to, oh my goodness, you have to do this and you have to do that. And there's nothing wrong with affirmations. There's nothing wrong with working through it. There's nothing wrong with having a schedule. There's nothing wrong with all of the lists and crap that they tell us we have to do. Nothing wrong with it, but it means nothing until you make the decision that you're going to show up. It means nothing until you make the decision that, yeah, I need some help. Maybe you could not like me that you can, you know, you don't mind. I need help all the time. I'm not like that. I'll sit here and work it, struggle it, do it, find another way so that I don't have to bother other folks. But one thing that my cancer journey, curable guys, it's curable cervical cancer, by the way, has taught me is that, girl, you better go out and ask for some help, make it light. What did they say? Many hands, light work. And it's true. So I had to pray, absolutely, my foundation. And then I had to be able to say, now what am I gonna do? Because I can sit here and wait on God and I'm not saying miracles don't happen because they did. I'm just telling you because I went from four centimeters down to nada. Okay, I'm just telling you, I'm just saying with my treatment. But you can't sit around waiting. It's like you pray and then what? You have to take the steps so that God can still do his work. Cause he's gonna do it, but are you gonna stay present? Are you gonna show up? We ask him for all the time for stuff. I do. Maybe y'all don't. Okay. Maybe you're asking other people to help you with something. It doesn't even have to be. It's not about religion. It's just even what what are you doing in your business, in your life, in your relationships, right? And you, we're always looking for someone else. Before someone else can help you, you gotta help your darn self. Mm hmm. You have to make yourself priority number one. Even if you don't have 100% buy-in, because everyone thinks you have to have 100% buy-in with everything that you do and everything that you say. Okay, I, I'm, I'm one of those. I'm just going to tell you, no, I don't. I don't always have 100% buy-in. I don't. But I have enough buy-in and belief that a failure is better than a try. A try is better than a failure, right? If I don't try it, how can, how can I have a result? So you have to show up for you. And sometimes I'm gonna be honest, when you're going through stuff and you're going through mental 
emotional issues, sometimes you do have to say, well, you know what? I'm going to do this for that person. You do. When there was going through certain traumas, I was like, I had to think about my brother. That's what was getting me through. I had to think about my grandparents. That was getting me through. When I was certain things, I had to think about my children. That was getting me through. But it only gets you so far. Yeah, it only takes you so far. Then you're going to have to show up. Now, you don't have to show up perfect, right? No, just show up. I launched my master class last week. Guys, it wasn't perfect, but I showed up. How am I going to be a coach and in, uh, encourage and equip other women, high achieving business women, right? To defeat negative thoughts of self-sabotage and imposter syndrome while we building and rebirthing confidence so that they can achieve their successes in life if I can't even show up for myself. Because we have a lot of folks out there that are imposters, they're frauds, and they're telling you what they can do and they haven't done it for themselves. So if I have gone through it and now I have the equipment to help somebody else, but first you have to show up. You have to be priority number one. Man, that's easy to say, because I am, Travis Michelle, recovering people pleaser. Mm -hmm. That's who I am. Yeah, that's me. Recovering. I always have to constantly remind myself, step back. No, you can't do it for them. No, don't run over there and try to fix it. Right? How do you show up when you just don't feel like it? Bottom line, you just do it. You do it ugly. You do it with a snot nose, crying. Sometimes you even have to do it angry. But you don't stay there, right? See, that's the good news. You showed up, but now you got to fix up. But if you do not attempt, you've already lost. Speaking to one of my coaches, uh, my branding coach, Dr. Shade Abdu today, and um, she was like, I'm so proud that you actually follow through on that masterclass. And I was telling her about the, hi, Michelle, that's my other, yeah, that's my ride for life one here. Um, breast cancer warrior times two, yay. She's recovering from her, um, her second mastectomy and I'm just, we pray for you and she's so good. See, that's my, that's that other person that's shoring me up prior to her going in through her process, her journey. So Dr. Adu was like, um, I'm really proud that you mustered through and you did that masterclass anyway. I was like, yeah, but I couldn't connect my Zoom and my Canva. So I had to come out. They shared my screen. Then I had to go into Canva. They could see my slides. I was frustrated. People were like, you did such a good job. But I was frustrated because I was like, this is not how it's supposed to be. And then people were like, um, I know they were trying to get in, but I ain't let anybody else into the, into the class. So y'all got to come tomorrow. I'm just saying. Because I was so busy trying to concentrate on my slides. Now, I speak professionally. You know, guys, I've spoken on stages, international, all that good stuff. But then what got me? <laughs> the technical aspect of it. Huh? And that's going to happen in life. But you still have to show up, even when it looks raggedy. Now, I had everything professionally done. You got your little thank you email. You got all that crap. You get to you get to hear the Zoom. And I'm like, see my team. I had it on mute. Uh, how do I get this thing to work? And they're calling me, right? And I'm over here moving my lips. And people are like, we can't hear you. We can't hear you. I should have put it, you know, with my little picture. But I'm just trying to, like, get this through. Oh, come on. It's not stopping. I'm on time. What's going on? So I showed up. I want to say I launched ugly. It wasn't, oh, my goodness, you have 50 years to do it. And I sent out a million this and a million that. Nah. But I showed up. Right? 
And I'm continuing to show up every day, even when I don't feel like it. Just don't. But we, we need to show up. We need to show up as women. And kings, we need you to show up too. We do. We need to show up as yourself, not as somebody else. We spend a lot of time trying to copy and be like other people, especially, you know, going on this entrepreneurial journey. Well, you should do it this way. You should do it that way. But that's, that's not going to work for me. All right. Somebody has to go out and do it the way it works best for them. And you'll still be successful. And, and that's what I have to do. And that's what I have to constantly remind myself. Yeah, but that's, that doesn't, that's, I launched my, my journal that you can pick up on Amazon. I launched it ugly. I just, I sent a text, please help me. And that's what people did. How do you show up when you just don't feel like it? Ask for help. Have that confidant. Even if it's a 1-800-273-8255 number, have that conversation first with yourself and then with that person that you trust, even if it's the 1-800 number, and let them know how you feel. We all need some encouragement, no matter how tough you think you are. And I know I'm tough. I'm strong but I'm strong enough to say that I'm weak. I'm strong enough to be vulnerable. Let me take a sip, guys. My throat get, my throat getting low. Okay, thank you. And have some fun with it. How do you show up when you just don't feel like it? When you're like, I have, I'm about to give up. I'm tired of this crap. And we don't always use the word crap. We might be saying some nice, colorful words. It's okay. Feel it. Roll with it. Get it out. <clears throat> Something I had to learn. Right? I'm not a crier. I can go through a whole lot of things that I'm just not a crier. But I had to cry. And, you know, my circle said cry. It wasn't always tears of sadness. It was just, I'm crying because it's mucking chemo and I just get this emotion. What is this? And, you know, I don't feel like showing up. I didn't feel like going in there every day for five weeks, Monday through Friday for some radiation. I just didn't. I didn't feel like it. Yeah, I didn't. I know it was life-saving and all that. I'm so glad that it was. But I didn't feel like it. I didn't feel like then having, you know, you're taking a break and you have all of these biopsies and everything going on and life is still happening, guys. I still got to pay bills. My dog still has to be walked. All right. Still got to go to these tests. Tesses. <laughs> right. None of that stopped. I could have put this on hold. I could have put the show on hold. I could have put the book on the journal on hold. I could have put my dreams on hold. I could have not. Um, been on platforms that were, thank God for Zoom, pre-recorded. And so I could have done all that. I could have not posted. I could have stepped back and given up. I'm going to ask you a question. What is keeping you going? Because that's key. You need to find out what is keeping you going. What's keeping you motivated? What's keeping you in the game? What's keeping you showing up every day because when you wake up and you hit your the, your plant your feet on the floor you showed up whether you wanted to or not hair all over your head bonnet on make, no makeup all that you still showed up what is getting you out of that bed and if you're not what is going to get you out of that bed what is going to get you motivated how are you going to go through that process so I just wanted to like come on and just talk about that tonight because I'm finding we're kind of slipping a little bit back into the um, filters in terms of let's just wax over comments, let's wax over our feelings. We don't have time to do that. 
We are in an inflation and a recession, y'all. Just don't let them tell you we're not in a recession. We are. How are you preparing? It's a lot of stressors going on. All these bills and laws and uh, different things going on in the street, in your neighborhood, in your family, in your mind. How do you control all of that? How do you handle it? Because you can't run. You can. But then you're not going to show up if you just put your head in the sand. For a couple of hours, and you know, if you want to do that, absolutely, because I do. But I mean, we can't stay stuck. You can't stay there. You need to also, we have to share our journey with other people. That's real important. I'm so excited that um, last week, remember, we had uh, Trudy Ann Williams on from Destiny Helpers. I'm going to put her, yeah, there we go, um, on the show. Well, this past Saturday, I showed up. It was hot as hell. 80s outside in NY to the sea. It was like 100 degrees with the index and whatever. I had my cap on. I had my water, sipping it, slowly walking down the block as I drove to Brooklyn, uh, got inside. Then it was so cold, even though it was hot outside. And then I'm freezing. I had to find a space, but it was just a hot mess. But anywho, I showed up. You know why I showed up? Because I'm a mentor. And I was teaching the other mentees the walk method, W-A-L-K, right? Willing participant, action steps, L, love yourself, how, through uh, forgiveness, which leads to freedom and redemption, which is walking your journey, and K, kicking butt unapologetically. So I was teaching them that method. These, they were 13 to 17 years old. I had to show up. I could have said it's too hot and I'm not going to show up. Hi, Wendy. Right. I could have done that. But I'm a mentor. So it's about more than me. So sometimes when you show up, it's about more than you. When you're doing positive things, it's more it's about more than just you. It's about other people as well. So I was so, so excited that I could teach them the walk method to help them rebuild that confidence that's in them. Um, just to share, for Brook, uh, Brownsville, Brooklyn, they have the highest rate of teenage pregnancy in the city, the five boroughs, 30.1% or something. And Trudy Ann Williams, uh, who's originally from Kingston, Jamaica, said when she came to America, she wanted and was in uh, the uh, found this area in Brooklyn that she wanted to help black and brown girls realize that they can be successful and they didn't have to take that route and that they're intelligent and you know no matter what is happening in their lives they still have a place that's safe and so from may until july uh they go through health and wellness they go through um what is it uh financial literacy uh etiquette People come and speak to them. I spoke to them as an expert confidence coach, you know. Um, and these young girls are so intelligent. They just, they need that extra support. So how do you show up when you don't feel like it? Get yourself a little mentee. Someone, and start with your children. Please start at home. Share with them the struggles that you go through and the challenges. Stop trying to hide it because they're going to see it anyway. And you rather they know the truth about it. I mean, they don't have to know all the details, but it, it, let them see how you navigate. It's a learning lesson, right? So today, guess what? See, Trudy Williams, I'm telling you, this destinyhelpersoutreach.org, I need you guys to go and donate. This is the third year. She started it during the pandemic. We were on the phone together and we were talking about what we were going to do and where we were going to go and look at us now, two years, I said three, I mean, two years later, she started in 2019 for her, it's three years. She was on the news today at 4.50, 5.50 and 3, 3.50. They were on all day. I was so excited. And my mentee is a valedictorian. I'm so proud of her, Giannica. Um, and Saturday, the news, the local news is going to be there live. See, that's showing up. Huh? 
these young ladies are going through their, you know, they some have single households, which doesn't mean it's a bad thing, but Brownsville is rough. Like Brownsville is tough. Y'all look that up. It ain't no, it, it's rough. Okay. It was rough. I was like, where am I parking? Where am I going? You know? Um, and that's where I had my first job as a registered nurse was in Brownsville. Yeah. We had it fenced in just for me to go park at night with security walking us. It's rough. That's what I'm saying. But she saw a need and she says, I'm going to, I'm going to be there. And you know what? She was going to be, uh, the founder, Trudy Williams, she was in a shelter when she started this destinyhelpersoutreach.org. See, that's what showing up looks like. So how do you show up when you don't feel like it? Find something that puts some fire in you. That's a passion that you want to do. Work on that. She's a single mom to a beautiful son, Omarion, right? But she was in a shelter, but she kept showing up for these other young ladies. And every year it's gotten bigger and bigger. Now this year, she got a, receives a proclamation from the city last uh, year. This year there will be, um, what is it? Uh, another news station there. And guess what, guys? She told him she wants to, to interview me. Mm -hmm. I was so honored. I was shocked because we were just talking about it. I was like, me? What? Oh, my goodness. You know, you know I got to look good. <laughs> got to make sure my gown on point. But showing up. Because when you show up, you don't know who's looking at you. You don't know who's saying, I didn't feel like showing up. I didn't think I could do it. But hearing your story and what you're going through or what you have gone through, I'm going to really show up, right? Hi, Sherelle. Thank you so much for coming on, Queen. It's so important that you show up. One, for yourself. But your purpose on this earth is really not all about you. And that give back for me, it's the give back for me, all right? Because I'm doing it in my family, but to be able to reach out and my mentee was like, I need you to come to my graduation. She's graduating uh, as valedictorian at 16, starting college next month. Receives 13 acceptance letters, five full pay. You know what I'm saying? And she says that she is going to be the president of the United States. And I believe her. And I'm right there. I'm there for it. We have to dream big. Your age doesn't stop you from dreaming big. Society says that. Oh, my goodness. You know, you reach a certain age. That's it. Just leave it to the young folk. What? No, we're supposed to be doing this together. They can run faster, but they're going to they're gonna still come back and be like, okay, I need my foundation and, and bring you along, right? Because they're going to realize they can go so far, but they need that knowledge. So, you know what? I'm not going to go run way back there. How about we do it together? How do you show up? Let's stop trying to show up by ourselves. Let's stop making it all about us. Huh? Let's show up together. And I'm, I'm so excited. That's why I wanted to share um, with Destiny's helpers because another way to show up is put somebody else in the spotlight. Shoot. It doesn't have to be all about you. It doesn't take away from you. I can sit and say, hey, how you doing? Um, Sherelle, you know, Sherelle Francis on here. What do you have going on? Guys, make sure that you connect. I can do that. Oh, yeah, Angelique. That's right. I was saying nine to five, right? Digital.angelique on Instagram. There's nothing wrong with that. There's more than enough to go around. But when you show up and you show up in the right circles and you have that right circle of people around you who are supporting you, I don't even know all the people who were praying for me and saying, you know, sending me texts. They had no idea. Y'all don't. I mean, I thank you all the time. But you don't even know how important it, it was to me. All I could do was read it and sit there and like, wow, somebody was thinking about me. I better show up tomorrow. Wow. You know, people are encouraging me. Oh, I need to show up tomorrow. Right. And show up with the right attitude. 
even when I don't always feel my best. How are you going to show up? That's what the question is now, right? How are you going to show up? Please make sure, guys, that you subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's right. Got to get my subscribers up. You got to ask for what you want. I'm getting used to that as a business owner. Ask for what you want. People can't read your mind. They'll, oh, wow, that was great. Yay. Okay. And you still didn't get what you need. Ask for what you want. When you need help, ask for it. And if it's not the right person, you ask somebody else. That's okay. Because guess what? That no is really a yes. Because you know what? If they weren't going to help you and they weren't supposed to be there, you know how much grief that you've saved yourself from? Hmm? Let's stop looking for accepting that a no is such a bad thing. Maybe it's just not your time. But you keep showing up. Right? That's what you do. No matter what, show up. Show up for yourself. And I need y'all, because I'm going to tell y'all now what I need. I need you to show up definitely for tomorrow for this, um, my master class. And I go in and share with you in depth what the walk method is. And it's not where I go in and it's fluff. I've done enough of those classes. <laughs> the master classes where they just so busy giving you statistics, statistics, statistics. I have to throw in a slide for those of you who would like statistics, but it's all on one slide. That's, I, ca I call it my fluff slide, just to make you happy. Um, but we actually, I, I dive right in. I introduce myself and then I dive into the W, the A, the L, the K, and how you can do it, and then give you a story and put, put it in there so that you understand how to use it. So when you leave the masterclass that I do, you actually have learned how to use the walk method, right? It's a DIY kind of thing. Um, and you can also, you're offered to purchase the Boss Up With Confidence journal uh, to go along with it or to go to use it after. And I, I, I cut through the chase. I cut through a lot of stuff and give you your information. We don't have time to sit there for like, listen to you, just talk about yourself. It's not about me, it's about you. For me, it's about the transformation that you will receive. Um, and then after that, after you can see the value, um, I do have my offer, which is the, I'm so proud of it. You walk like a boss collective. And that's the name of my program. It's an eight week intensive. All right, y'all do some work in eight weeks. It's not for the week. It's not if you think, well, I'm gonna float along and you just now, mm -mm. No, I, I don't want your money if you just sit in there going to do it and never open and never do it. See, it's live. So it's not a course that you can just say, I'm going to get to it. Uh, uh You're putting the work in. It's group coaching. So it will you will have a private community as well where we can ask questions and I'll come in there. Although I don't do coaching in that private community. That's no, I'm just saying in our program, I do. Uh, and you got a 30 minute call with me one to one so that you can ask me questions that pertain personally to you. Uh, I'm excited about the transformation, like, cause that's really what it's about, right? All the bonuses and yeah, yeah, yeah. What is the trans, the transformation is priceless. Cause this is a tool that you can use rinse and repeat, repeat and rinse, rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. Cause you can use it in most situations in your life. I've had to do it over and over and over and over again. So I'm about uh, equipping you so that you can go on and run. And guess what? I know y'all got heard that uh, you'll have homework. Well, in addition to that, when you're doing the homework, it coincides with you, your everyday living, with your job, um, your business, your relationships and life. So you, when we go over it, because you know we got to do that mind shifting work first. Yeah, but you're gonna apply it, because I need quick wins. We don't. I, maybe you don't mind doing like taking a year or two. I don't want to do that, and I, I I don't want you to, because that's when we fall off. That's when we don't show up. I know you wonder like, how are we gonna add that in here? What's she talking about? Yes, that's how you show up, right? We need quick wins. 
we need to say, hey, okay, you know what? The fact that I made a decision to quit smoking, you know, that's a quick win. You had to have a mind shift some there. My grandma says, tail follows the head, right? Now, what's the next step? You don't stay there. And we need that extra push. Well, that's why I'm here for that. I'm, I'm, all, I'm here for it because we're going to get this in. But everyone is not a good fit for me as a client. And I am not a good fit for everybody as a coach because I, you know, I keep it 100, but I'm going to be in your corner. I'm going to be right there. I'll snatch off these earrings, grease up my face, take off my glasses. Let's roll. What you got? What you want? What's, what's going on? Um, I really am there to support you not to do the work for you and not to give you the answers, but to help you with those answers, that all the information in your head to let's strategize, let's write it down, let's journal it out, let's talk about it, right? Because a lot of times once you write it down and we have a clear uh, roadmap, it makes sense, right? So that's how you show up. So you see how I snuck that all in there? Yeah, that's right. I'm getting better, guys. You know, here, for me, it's not about, hi, Elder Gail, how are you, queen? Thank you so much for coming in. It's not um, showing up when I said, it's not about just you. Mm -mm. It's not, it's for a bigger purpose. Whether you're a parent, a businesswoman, a wife, a boo thing, right? Uh, an employee, how are you showing up? But what does it look like? And if you don't know how to show up with, um, you know, what do they say? A diamond occurs because of pressure applied. Sometimes we add our own pressure and sometimes they're outside forces. But are you going to bury your head in the sand? Are you going to show up? You see that pearl in the sand? It's like moving. Because it's not, it doesn't start out smooth and it's constant motion. So that means you have to keep getting up, getting falling down. That's okay. Get up, right? Fall down seven times, get up eight times and on and on and on. You don't quit. Even when you feel like quitting. I'll raise my hand over here because yeah, I feel like it. There's some days I just don't feel like showing up. I don't, I want to lay in my bed which I've been doing a lot of because that was part of my healing, right? And I was like, uh, you got to get up. You, yeah, you can do things on the computer, but you need to get up. You need to move. You're weak. That's how we build our strength. That's how we build our mind. Because sometimes the body will only follow because the mind said it can do it. And we can see that in Special Olympics and other people with disabilities. How are they doing that? because their mind is telling them they have to. I'm going to, it doesn't matter what you say, I'm gonna try it. My going to radiation, everybody asks me, my doctors and nurses, the uh, guys in the garage, how are you driving every day? And I'm looking at them, I'm showing up. I said, well, I have to, I don't have a choice. I have to show up. And they're like, well, how, you're coming in with a smile, y'all. They don't know that I was at home crying, like, God, I got to I got to drag myself. It takes me two hours to get ready, literally two hours. But my mind said, but you got to show up. You got to stay in this fight. You can't give up. So my body is like, well, we got to follow this crazy fool because she ain't going to let us lay over here. Even though she's in pain, we got to still get up and go to these chemo and radiation. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? And I don't have the best veins and I had to, at, um, my second part, go for high dose radiation. Y'all, it was not easy to know that you have to go in and go into the OR and anesthesia and everything, like go for surgery every other day. What the heck is that? You think I wanted to show up for that? No, because in my mind, I already knew what to expect. I didn't want to show up. There are things in your life you just don't want to show up. But I'm here to tell you that you're going to show up and we're going to show up together. 
send me a DM and say, hey, you know what, Travis Michelle, look, I need, I need to get into this program. I'm ready. Come to the masterclass tomorrow so that you can learn how to do that walk method. And for those of, that want to do a DIY, you know, and purchase the, the journal and you can go on. God bless. Godspeed. <laughs> but you'll be back. Like, uh, listen, yeah. And, and I'm not going to leave anything out. No funnels. Well, I'm going to give you a little bit of the information, but you got to buy the next part. No, I'm giving it off. Mm -mm. No one's going to teach you like me. I, it's my method. I, I know what I'm talking about. I know what my test, the testimonials are from others. I know my own testimony. Y'all hear it, right? You see how I show up. Guys, let me tell you something. I showed up when I didn't feel like it. I came out. The doctor said, Travis Michelle, the four centimeter tumor. We went um, and they had to biopsy me again. Jesus have mercy. <laughs> the path came back and they said, there's no more cancer. I had to show up. Now look, y'all, I was so tired because you know you've been through, you're excited, but I still haven't really fully celebrated, right? Because I still have one more session to go, which is a surgery. So I'm like, um, I'm excited and I wanted to go to bed that night. And God was like, You're not gonna give me praise? Now I, you know, I'm just talking about me, y'all. He was like, You're not giving me praise for this? I was like, God, you know, I'm really tired. I don't feel like doing a reel. You know, I don't do all that dance with them. This is the conversation I'm having with God, right? He's like, oh, I, you told me to show up and show out. I did, because that's how I talk to my God. I'm just saying. And now you don't want to do a reel because you don't feel like it because you don't want to show up. When I tell you my spirit was so just like I could not sit there anymore. So I was like, okay. Hi, Jerrica. I said, all right, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do it. I did the reel, the song, Mary, Mary, and it just hit my spirit, right? And it happened to, of course, have the arrow. Come on, let's keep it 100 over here on Instagram. You want to use the trending. And I was like, oh my goodness. I was bouncing in the bed. I was like, yay. I had to put my clothes back on set up all my lighting, my dog sitting there because he's in the video too, because he, he wasn't, but then he saw what I was doing. He decided to come in the video. But anyhow, you know how Seal go. And I did that and I danced. I practiced. I was tired. I didn't want to show up. That's what I'm talking about. That's what we're talking about. Today. I didn't want to show up, but I did anyway. And I did my dance and I sent it off on Instagram. And I was like, I went to bed. I was done. I was tired. But I had to show up because I knew it was bigger than me. How about today somebody tells me, oh, you know, you went viral. I was like, what? Over 5,300 plus people have viewed that Instagram, that reel. And I didn't want to show up. Can I tell you, I was praising up and down in here like, God, that means that five over 5,000 people know that I'm thankful because you showed up. Huh? Now, if I decided not to show up, I can't tell other women that cervical cancer is curable and I'm an example and you got to keep showing up. And this is what happens when you show up, hmm? no matter what your outcome is. But I went from like a barely walk to I was able to do a dance. Of course, my daughter's like, yeah, Ma, you look a little stiff. Of course I'm stiff. She always has to bust my chops. And you know, but you got to have folks in your life like that. Keep you on your toes. But I have never gone viral. That was not my intention to go viral. My intention was to really was to get God off my back. And I was like, okay, God, because you know, I don't want you to go on my back because something's going to happen. So let me just go on and do what you said. And I did that video. And if you go to my Instagram and you go where I have the blue shirt on, you will see where I say I kicked cancer's ass. Okay. Over 5,000. In fact, when you go to Mary Mary, I'm the first video. I'm like, what? This is what happens when you show up. You help other people. Not about me. It's not about you. You need to show up and show out. 
So don't show up always raggedy. Sometimes you have to. No, look, I've shown up raggedy plenty of day. But then the next time I'm a little, sh I I'm in better shape. <laughs> and then the next time I'm in better shape. And then the next time I'm in better shape, because we're building upon, building upon, placing those bricks on top of bricks. But you got to show up. You got to stay in the game. You got to have skin in the game. Hmm? So I'm an example of what happens when you decide to show up, even when you don't feel like showing up. Because I don't know what it is. Every Wednesday, I'm excited. And then it's like, oh, I'm getting sleepy. What the heck is that about? But I show up. Oh, my goodness. My pain's setting in. But I show up. So I'm just excited that you guys are here. I'm so excited that you guys really have been sticking with me um, during my journey, sharing this out. Please make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel, put replay if when you read it, you know, listen to this again. Um, next Wednesday, I'm probably gonna have a replay on because I have surgery on Tuesday. And then I'm home at the end of the week and then we back up and, we, you know, going on through, boom, uh, master class that following Monday. Oh, y'all thought I was going to like, what, something was stopping me? You know, it's me, right? I'm going to show up. <laughs> I'm probably going to show up even while I'm in the hospital because I really want people to know, um, not so much for late night with Travis Michelle, but just to share with um, other women, especially women that look like me, the experience of going through um, uh, the hysterectomy, because that's what I'm having, a total hysterectomy. That is the, the final portion of, of my journey. So I am just, I am excited about it. And it sounds crazy, but I know that I made it and I got this next step to do, right? And God allowed me to make it this far. And I kept showing up and I keep showing up. Even when I'm like, I'm coming, got to walk a little slower. New York City, we walk really fast. Well, I'm not up to speed yet, but I'm definitely faster than I was. I'm better than I was. I'm not as raggedy as I was. And it's okay to be raggedy in the beginning. It's okay to have those raggedy days, but still show up. Huh? You can't be in the game if you don't show up. You can't expect more if you don't show up. So y'all, I gave you a lot of tea tonight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We talked about resiliency. We talked about showing up even when you don't want to and how it can happen. So I will be seeing you guys next week. Look for the link on my, um, I'm probably going to put it on here after, but Definitely look for the link on the IG page, my Twitter page, at Travis Michelle. Uh, I have to remember LinkedIn. Y'all got to show up to LinkedIn. I'm going to throw that in there. Uh, also on my LinkedIn page. So the master class will be tomorrow at 7 p.m. I can't believe like a master class. Ah, it's like I'm real. I'm legit. Um, always you're legit. But, you know, when you when you make it, the, the, the you scale up. It's not always about scaling up with just money. It's scaling up like, okay, I, I've, I've conquered this part, but it's comfortable right here. See, when we don't want to show up, sometimes because we comfy. I don't want to show I got this. I got this part done. I, I didn't do the IG. I need to do a reel. Mm -hmm. God, I'm supposed to do a, a program. Yeah, I got it. Uh, yeah, eight-week intensive. I got it. Uh, right. I, I understand. I have to do the one-to-one, -one, the 30 minute uh, calls. Mm -hmm, got it. But now I really got to show up and do a masterclass. Like you can have all the dreams in the world, but then you have to let people know it's there. Cause what closed mouths don't get fed at all. And if a door opens and you don't go through it, you miss your opportunity and you don't know when that door is going to open up again. And that might've been the door that changes, not just your life, but somebody else's life. So I am excited. I'm going to drop this link if I can. I had it here. Everything was all set up. Y'all, I was like ready. I was so excited. And then I get on here and it's like, oh my goodness. But I showed up. I didn't let you down. I didn't say I'm not going to be here. 
you would also have the, the Zoom link. So when you when I give you the walk method uh, link, you can click it and you go to your Zoom link. And you'll be right in there for tomorrow, 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Um, and let's see. Okay. So maybe not. Oh, yeah, here it is. I'm excited. I found it. Aren't y'all excited? I found it. And y'all stayed around. Um, yeah, you know, I'm silly. Uh, that's the other thing. We take ourselves too seriously. And we have enough going on in life to, like, be serious about. So why add to it? Yes. Walk method master class. Boom. I'm going to put it in as soon as it comes up. There we go. Everything's showing up but that. There you go. Woo. It's a struggle, but I showed up. There it is. Go to H uh, to www.trevismichelle.ck.page forward slash walk hyphen method hyphen masterclass. So that's where we're going to be tomorrow, 7 o'clock p.m. I'm not going to be keeping you that long. I like to because I, I don't have a lot of fluff for you. So if you're looking for that, no, I don't have a lot of funnels for you. No, it's about here's the program. But first, let's let me show you what it is. And then if you hang out and you decide that that's what's right for you and I'm you're right for me, then you'll be able to set up a call with me And because uh, I'm betting everyone. It's not about just filling up warm seats. And I only have 10 slots. Yeah, I'm not doing a humongous uh, cohort this time. I want something so that we build it together. Um, I really want to make sure you're putting the work in and it's hard for me to do that right now with a hundred thousand people so you need to be there if you can't get in or it's not your time share it out come on now so we can have a waiting list because it's so you know because i'm gonna have another one after this cohort then i'm going to another cohort so we got to get ourselves straight you hear me for 2023 and now is the time it's july this is the beginning of our business year for those of you who of us who are um entrepreneurs it's also the second half of the year. The first half flew by, like, wow. Woo, I don't know about y'all, but it flew. But now you still have time because what? You showed up. So thank you guys so much for showing up tonight. I hope to see you tomorrow at www.trevismichelle.ck.page forward slash walk hyphen method hyphen masterclass. I will be dropping this link on all of my uh, platforms. Please sign up. So you're in the building on the Zoom call tomorrow. And we can have some more fun because y'all know I'm, I'm silly. So just come ready with pen and paper. That's all I'm going to say. And an open mind. Show up. So I'm Travis Michelle. Next Wednesday, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We will not be here, but you will have a recording uh, because I will have uh, surgery on next Tuesday. And then that following week, we'll pick right back up keep it going and we'll be seeing each other during the week in these social media streets so until then you know how i go i'm trevis michelle that's right expert confidence coach too much for some okay <laughs> not enough for others Woo, that's your personal problem but guess what <laughs> i'm always just right for me so until next week oh actually no until tomorrow because y'all need to be in the Zoom class with me. Or you need to be on that master class so you can get this information. Because I need you to transform. I need to. I need you to get better, scale up, grow. You hear what I'm saying? That transformation is priceless. Why? Everybody else is like, oh, yeah, your pain point. Your pain point, I need your solution. We need to be solution driven and transformation driven. That's what I'm saying. So until next week, thank you all. Thank you so much for caring. Thank you for, so much for the support.